What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasia, online fitness coach for busy professionals who want to build a body that they're proud of without giving up their favorite foods or tracking calories. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of us can relate to, and that is building your dream body without the need for extreme diets or sacrificing your favorite foods. And yes, you heard me right. You can still achieve your fitness goals while enjoying the foods that you love every single week. I do it. All of my clients do it, and you can do it too. But before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss my fitness or my nutrition content. So let's kick things off by debunking a common myth, and that is the idea that your dream body requires extreme dieting and giving up your favorite foods. It's simply just not true. You can eat your favorite foods and still build a body that you're proud of. And today, I'm going to teach you how you can actually do that without feeling deprived. So before we dive into some practical tips, see how I can um, do this the right way. Don't know what that is. All right, before we dive into some practical tips, let's start off with doo -doo -doo -doo, mindset. This is the best part. If you don't have a strong mind, if you don't have that mindset shift, you're going to go right back into your old habits, into your old ways. It doesn't matter how much weight somebody helps you lose, you're going to gain it all right back because you still have that same mindset. So you're still going to have those same lifestyle choices and those same still those same habits that got you to the place that you're at, to the place that you're at in the first place. So mindset shift is not about restriction. No diet. No lifestyle should ever be about restriction. You should not have to cut out anything that you love to achieve the results that you want. If you do, you're going to go, you're going to cave in. You're going to go right back to those previous habits that made you the way that you are in the first place. So it's more about making sustainable choices that align with your fitness goals while still allowing you to enjoy the foods that you love. So it's not about cutting things out. It's not about eliminate, eliminating things. It's about, it's about replacing the bad with the better, essentially. But here, balance is key. A lot of things, a lot of uh, my clients that I work with, I teach them about mindful eating. Mindful eating is actually just the process of thinking about what you're doing. So if I'm taking a bite of food, I'm thinking about eating. A lot of people, when they're eating, they're watching TV, they're talking to so-and-so, they're scrolling on the internet. They're not actually enjoying the process and thinking about what they're doing. They don't know how their food tastes. They can't tell you the texture of their food. They can't tell you what they're like the, the, sensation that they're getting from eating the food and what mindful eating will allow you to do is actually enjoy the food you eat instead of just shoving it down your throat like a caveman or a cave woman so instead of just gobbling it down you're actually savoring it you're enjoying it you're seeing what it tastes like what's the texture like what does it smell like how does it make me feel when i eat it where is it going thinking about all these things while you're eating is called mindful eating so try it out give it a shot See how you feel. I promise you will not eat as much as you normally do when you're just shoveling it in while you're watching TV or scrolling on your phone. And it will also allow you to pay closer attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues. So you don't overindulge and you don't walk around feeling like a stuffed turkey. And I'm recording this right oh, literally a week before Thanksgiving. So I had to throw that reference in there. Stuffed turkey is that's that's how most of us walk around feeling on Thanksgiving but also every other freaking time of the year because we just shove our faces and we're not really thinking about what we're doing. We're not paying attention to how our body feels. We're not paying attention to when we're hungry and when we're full. And when we're hungry, we just go and grab the biggest serving of whatever we can find that we think is going to fill us up. And then we eat six donuts. And then an hour later, or even 20 minutes later, we're walking around like, why did I just eat six freaking donuts? Because you didn't pay attention to your body's cues. Your body was telling you it was full, but you weren't listening. You were just shoving your mouth full because you felt like you weren't full yet. So pay attention to what you eat, how much you eat, how it feels when you're eating it, how it tastes, how it smells, all of these things, and you will not overindulge. You will actually listen to your body's cues and you will stop before you get too stuffed, essentially. On to the next one. All right, so let's jump into some practical tips to help you build a body that you that you love and still eat the foods that, that you love as well. So portion control. My clients swear by portion control. And I love that they love it because it makes my job easier and it makes their life easier. So you can enjoy your favorite foods by practicing moderation. It's about savoring a reasonable portion rather than depriving yourself or going for seconds. So you can still eat donuts, just eat it in moderation. So if you go to Dunkin' six or seven days a week, cut it down to five, then cut it down to four, then cut it down to three, then only go once a week. That's called moderation, having it, but having it in short bursts. I eat donuts or cinnamon rolls or cookies or cupcakes, whatever really I want once a week, 
And then throughout the week, I stick to my nutrition plan and I literally just lost two pounds this week. And last last weekend, I ate a Hawaiian pizza, 10 donut holes and four cinnamon rolls that my girlfriend made me. So I still eat the foods that I love. I just do it once a week and I'm still literally dropping weight every single week doing this by following this this moderation and, and actually not depriving myself and not eliminating the foods from my diet. So. Next up is balance. Ensure that your meals include a mix of protein, healthy fats, and fiber-rich carbs. This not only supports your fitness goals, but it also keeps you satisfied and reduces the temptation to overeat later. So eating a lot of protein, eating a lot of fiber-rich carbs, eating healthy fats, those will help you stay full longer versus eating a bag of chips or eating a, a thing of Snickers or whatever, you know, junk food. All that junk food does is make you want more junk food. But if you go and you eat a plate of... of um, you eat a hamburger with some homemade French fries and you have like some avocado or some some guacamole or something on the side, you're going to be full and you're not going to go back and get a whole nother plate of that. You're going to be satisfied. You're going to be full and that's going to reduce the temptation to go and raid the pantry when it gets 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night because you're you're starving. So eat a healthy mix of protein, healthy fats and fiber rich carbs. That fiber is going to help you feel full for a longer period of time. Next up, flexible eating schedule. So instead of strictly adhering to set meal times, listen to your body's natural hunger cues. This approach allows you to enjoy your favorite foods when you're truly hungry and not out of habit. So if you say every day I eat breakfast at seven o'clock, if you're not hungry at seven o'clock, don't eat breakfast. Like don't just force yourself to eat because you're like, well, I got to eat because at seven o'clock I have to go eat breakfast right now at seven o'clock. I got to eat breakfast. You can be flexible, live life flexible. Don't don't set strict boundaries and strict meal times to where you feel like when it gets 12 o'clock, I have to go eat lunch. When it gets six o'clock, I have to go eat dinner. If you're not hungry, don't eat. And sometimes when you're hungry, you're actually just thirsty. So try to drink some water, see how you feel after that. If you actually are hungry, your body will tell you that you're actually hungry and then go eat you a full balanced, healthy meal of protein, healthy fats and fiber rich carbs. See, I related it back to the other one there. Uh, but Dog on it. That's a, that's uh that's our third tip right there. And then fourth, we have smart substitution. So make smart substitutions to create healthier versions of your favorite dishes. So for example, opt for whole grain alternatives, use leaner cuts of meat, or experiment with flavorful spices and herbs to enhance the taste without compromising on nutrition. So instead of frying your food in canola oil or um any other type of, of like soybean oil or palm oil or whatever other oil that they, peanut oil, use smarter substitutions, extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil. Use these instead of using those less healthy options and you're going to get more nutrients. You're going to get more bang for your buck and your body's going to feel better. You're still going to be full. You're still going to enjoy the meal. You just won't have that lethargic feeling. You'll have more energy afterwards. You'll actually still feel like doing stuff after you eat rather than just going home and crashing on the couch. Because if you think about it, if you make a hamburger and French fries at home, all of that's homemade, and then you go to Culver's or something and you get a, a hamburger and French fries, as soon as you eat that and you get full, you're like, man, I just want to go home and I just want to lay on a couch. But when you eat that at home, you, you don't feel the same way. And it's because of the stuff, the way that you cook it and the stuff that you use to cook it with. So make smart substitutions. If you like a Chick-fil-A sandwich from Chick-fil-A, learn how to make your own version at home. And I promise it will probably taste the same, if not better. And it will be 10 times, I'll even go there, 100 times healthier for you than what you would get at any type of fast food restaurant. So smart substitutions. Think smart, okay? And then consistent physical activity. Whether you want to work out at a gym, whether you want to work out at home, or whether you would just want to go for a walk. It doesn't matter. Just stay active. This helps This helps you achieve and maintain your dream physique. So it doesn't matter if you don't work out at all right now. Start doing something small every single day and then add on to it. So if you're not working out at all right now, start going for a 30-minute walk once a week and then three times a week and then five times a week. And then start doing some weight training once a week and then add in another day and then add in another day. All you really need is three to four days of some resistance training, which is basically lifting weights and, and building muscle. And then going for a walk, I always say aim for about 8,000 steps bare minimum every single day, even on rest days, and you will morph your body. If you do 
that, that physical activity paired with a, a balanced diet of, of high protein, high healthy fats and fiber rich carbs, I promise your body will be like, what in the world? Like this, who is this person? Who am I becoming? Like you're going to look in the mirror and see a completely different version of yourself in the next six to 12 weeks. Honestly, it doesn't even take that long. Sometimes one of my clients lost 19 pounds in just six weeks alone. So literally a month and a half, she lost almost 20 pounds. I have another client that's on route to losing 30 pounds. And literally we haven't even cut her food down. We've just started making smart substitutions. We just started adding in some physical activity. We just started practicing portion control and balance. We didn't cut carbs down to, or cut calories down to an extremely low amount. She's still eating about over 2000 calories right now. She has two kids. She's worked, she's in college and she still almost dropped 30 pounds just from doing some practical tips that I've listed here for you guys. So don't take these things lightly because I know for a fact that they work. I do them and on all of my clients do them. This is what we practice inside of my program. So those are just some practical tips for you guys. And now, oh, got it. I went the wrong way. Quick and healthy meal ideas. So these are just some things that you can actually start making today. You can start making tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video. But breakfast, Greek yogurt parfait with fresh berries and a sprinkle of granola. So protein here from Greek yogurt. Berries, you have some micronutrients and some carbs. Granola, we have some 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 more carbs. Some If you get a certain kind, they can be fiber-rich granola, and it'll help you feel full longer. Avocado toast with a poached egg on whole grain bed bread. Avocado is by far the one of the best, if not the best, honestly, healthiest fats that you can ever eat, like ever eat. So include some avocado into your diet. This does include guacamole. Prepare your own guacamole if you can, because it's going to be much healthier because you know what's going into it because you know what you're putting into it. So avocado, guacamole, whatever you want to do. Poached egg, we got protein there. Whole grain bread, we have us a carb there. Smoothie bowl with your favorite fruits and a scoop of protein powder. And feel free to substitute these things out. Like if you don't, if you don't eat avocado, then find another healthy fat that you do eat, that you actually enjoy eating, that you can stick to long term. Then lunch, we have a quinoa salad with veggies and grilled chicken or chickpeas. Chickpeas are like a high protein. Um, it, they make hummus with chickpeas. So it's just a high protein type of um, lentil that you can use if you don't eat meat. And then vegetable stir fry with lean beef and brown rice. And then a whole grain wrap with turkey, hummus, and lots of colorful vegetables. So rule of thumb here, the more colorful your plate, the better it's going to be. The more micronutrients you're going to have, the better your gut health is going to be, the better your digestion, and the healthier you're going to be overall. So aim for a colorful plate if possible. Carrots, green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, chicken, ground beef, salmon, steak, any of those things combine combine as many different colors as you can. I call it like plating the rainbow. Like put the rainbow on your plate. All of those things, all of those different colors of vegetables and, and meats and fruits and all that have different uh, benefits for your body. So make your plate as colorful as possible. And then for dinner, we have baked salmon with a side of roasted, uh, roasted sweet potatoes and steamed broccoli. Spaghetti squash with tomato sauce and lean ground turkey. This is basically basically a healthy version of spaghetti. So instead of using spaghetti uh, spaghetti noodles or pasta, you're using spaghetti squash, which is actually much healthier. You're doing the tomato sauce and lean ground turkey. You can also substitute that for lean ground beef if you didn't eat this uh, ground beef with your with your lunch. But if you're like me, you can eat get to the same thing like two or three times a day, and you're fine with it. So that's just like a healthier spaghetti. Um, essentially. And then last but not least, grilled shrimp tacos with cabbage slaw and a light cilantro dressing. So a lot of people don't think about the, the condiments and, and stuff that they put on their food, the ketchup, the mayonnaise, the dressing, the uh, like, like ranch or, or sour cream or whatever the case may be. If you look at the back of your condiments, Look at the, the nutrition facts. See what, what they have in them. How much sugar do they have in them? How many carbs? How much fat? How much protein? Look at the actual ingredients list. Do they have any type of seed oils? Do they have a lot of, um, a lot of artificial flavors? Look at all these things because these things add up. And if you're, if you're pouring and loading your food down with, uh, with ranch dressing or, or ketchup or mustard or whatever the case may be, those things add up. Those things are keeping you from reaching your dream body the same way that drinking Starbucks every every single day is adding an extra 500 to 1,000 calories, <clears throat> and you're not even thinking about that. So don't drink your calories and look at your condiments because a lot of people don't think about that when it comes to 
um, you know, uh, healthier eating habits and, and having a healthier lifestyle. So, so there you have it, ladies, the key to building your dream body while still enjoying the food you love. Remember that it's all about balance, mindfulness, and making choices that align with your unique journey. We're all unique. We're all different. So make choices that, that support your uniqueness and your difference. And I promise you'll be successful. So thank you for spending some time with me today. I'm currently accepting one-on-one clients into my fitness coaching program, which is called Discover You. I would love to work with you guys. If you've been considering getting in shape and you're tired of following every single fat diet that comes out on the market just to fail and be back at square one, I would truly love to help you out. There are two links down below. The first one is for you to schedule a free consultation call with me. That's where we'll discuss your goals and see if we're a good fit to work together. The second link is a link to the one-on-one coaching application on on there. It will take you about two to three minutes to fill out. You'll tell me a little bit about yourself. We'll see if you're a good fit for the program, and we will get you started as soon as today. So please feel free to complete the application or schedule a free call with me because I'd love to be a part of you guys' health journey, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.